All right, everybody, I've got a question for you. So I am conducting or practicing intensive rotational grazing for, well, for the first time in my life. Now, I've worked with cattle quite a bit, but I've never had my own place and got to manage it the way I want to manage it. So I am doing that this year, really excited about it. But I've got something happening that is perplexing me as to how to get this done. So what you're looking at right now is I just turned these cows out onto a fresh, I guess we'll call it a paddock, this morning. And now I'm just following this cow. Uh, she likes me, so I can get up real close to her and stuff like that, which you'll see in a minute. But anyway, I'm following her and watching her eat. Now, the recommendations for intensive rotational grazing are that I maintain uh, four inches of coverage or four inches of stem height or whatever it may be and so you want to get the grass up to a certain height and then they're supposed to eat off just the top the most succulent leaves and then leave you with four inches of stem height so that's what I've been trying to do but what I noticed this morning when I turned them out and by the way I the cows are getting ahead of me on pasture so I'm getting creative trying to uh, make the pasture keep up with them and we're in the middle of July which is generally when the grass slows down in our region because it gets hot but um, I'm trying to to get the cows ahead of of the grass or excuse me the grass ahead of the cows and so for three days or four days actually I took them off pasture and fed hay um, some of our first cutting and I fed hay to try and let the pasture catch up now this little section here has done pretty well with that extra four days of rest but what I noticed this morning and what you can see in this still frame right here is that as she went in and she started eating she didn't eat just the most tender leaves off the top part of the grass she is going all the way down to you know an inch above the ground or something like that now this is new pasture this pasture was planted a year ago so the spring of 2015 it never got grazed until the fall of 2015 and then it's been in the rotation this year but if you look at this still image and and then I'll, I'll hit play again and we'll and we'll kinda follow along you can see a little trail that she's made while she's been eating and you can see that little white uh, post off to the right and the little white um, temporary electric fence that's where the line is I took that down and that's where she walked through and so you can see this trail she's making and it's not that I'm at least at this point it's not that I'm overgrazing this paddock because they just went into it and she's already taking it well down below a four inch stubble height so my question is what do I do um, stocking density regardless she's going that deep and if you watch as I walk along here um, everything she's eaten is down well below that four inch stubble height and don't worry she's not gonna kick me this cow she's just one of those cows you can get right up to um, but anyway you follow along this trail and you can kinda see the different the difference in the coloration there and she is eating well below the four inch stubble height on her first pass so I'm confused if they're going to eat it this low maybe I pull them out after only a day or a half day or whatever it may be but in my mind what I'm gonna wind up with is I'm gonna wind up with a bunch of areas which by the way this already happens a bunch of areas that are eaten down well below that four inch stubble height and then a bunch of areas that they didn't touch that are up higher and I don't think it's a palatability issue I just think it's a timing issue if I leave them in there longer they're gonna get those taller areas but since she starts off going that low everything's going below that four inch stubble height so what do I do to try and get an even consumption of this grass and to set up my rotation so I can keep that stubble height above that four inches and get that optimum regrowth um, is as recommended in all the grazing uh, columns or advice books